Hi guys, what is going on? It is Deathwish here bringing you part 11 of The Walking Dead, the final season. So in the last episode, we got the shrapnel out of AJ and the guy, the Whisperer guy, um, bandaged him up. I think he put some duct tape around uh, that open wound, which must really hurt. Um, managed to get back to the school and then Lewis met us at the gate just before we collapsed. Um, Lewis helped us inside. So I have no idea if they're going to let us stay or just let us stay until AJ's a little bit better and then kick us out again. So we're going to have to find out in this episode or maybe the next one. Don't know how the group is going to react. We need to warn them that the Raiders are going to come back with more people and more weapons. Uh, see how they go and maybe get the Whisperer on our side and in the school with us that would be awesome so if you do like the story so far don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's kick into the video let me see I have what I need upstairs come on okay okay they seem okay with me got the shrapnel out of him we it's a long story. It's hard to read their facial expressions. That He's running a fever. Body's upset. trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Tim. Sorry, AJ, man. AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. No button. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand. We don't we let it take over. Do it. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. Lewis looks generally upset. Come in time, please. We need to talk. Oh no. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And then Lewis got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's good to see you. It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Mitch really Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her oh, showing up right after her. you? I mean, I wouldn't have recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. We were in a group together. Long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on, you know it was different. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But they went. there's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proves we can't isn't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal Zombie skins face. or something. Yeah. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. 
It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. No, they're you don't scared understand. and angry and they're looking More for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Forget Both about the stupid vote. Oh my god, forget the stupid vote. It's not important now. I'm sorry. Uh. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too, if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. So there's a chance of getting them back. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Yeah, New Frontier! Let me show you. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. Oh if man, I didn't mean to press that. Traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Uh, the walls? Fortify the walls? We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Okay, that worked, I think. Eh, barbed wire is easy to get over, though. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. And then the greenhouse. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlon wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's going to be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Oh. Well, he told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh. Would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna Thank be you. okay. Nice. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. They shot AJ. <laughs> is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! He's such a dick. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no. I'm not. Oh, shit. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> oh, shit. Since now, bitch. Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. Oh, shit. Violet's in charge. Violet's in charge. See you there. I really don't like Mitch. He seems like a proper jackass. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I thought uh, Lewis would step up there. I.
need to ask about his arm. to cut. So we've got to go to the, the greenhouse, get some barbed wire. Mitch is going to be mouthy the whole journey there. It's going to be overrun by walkers. He's going to get bit. We're going to leave him there. It's going to be fun. I didn't realize how long it's been. We can't do that though. How much it's as, changed. As much as I'd like it to. Uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need up. that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Is that church? Our collectible, uh, collect, collectibles, collectibles can. Uh, Collectibles can be found, so we'll pick up this. Thank can you. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Yep, it's going on our shelf. I'm guessing we're staying then. <laughs> It'll look good on my wall. Alright, can we talk to you? Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place. But it's so overgrown. Alright, here's by a ladder. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. Oh, that's right. Mitch has already found one. He's just standing there, though. Being a dick. What you found, Mitch? Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna talk to him. What do you want? What's your deal? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know. So don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. Alright. Mitch, she's standing next to a ladder. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. It's about harsh. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't sure, mind okay. sticking her neck out. I'll go first. Okay. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks. Clem. Yeah. if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Alright, okay, so if this place hasn't been used in a while, why didn't that crumble? She 
she panics way too much. Not bad. I can handle myself. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. All right, so we actually use this place now. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. Hmm. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Okay, let's grab some then. Pick some mushrooms. Some mushrooms are edible. Oh. <laughs> Eat mushrooms. Get high. What's in here? Find a way to open it. Go find a crowbar. Did you find Wait. anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. Right. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. If oh, assholes you. try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. Well... I kind of like to see that. Right, there's some uh, hedge clippers here, which I'm going to chop your face off with. Yes! Dibs! But I need to borrow them to open the cabinet. He's just putting them in his back pocket. <laughs> he just put them in his back pocket. Oh, mad. They're called flick shears, huh? These people got crazy back pockets. Oh, shovel? Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. You gonna pick it up, man? Low mile. Okay, so we're not gonna pick up the lawnmower. All right, let's open this cabinet. And now I'll fought to barbed wire. A lot of it too. Holy That's crap! To keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these for what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Okay, so, uh... You got a gas cooker? Just laying around? I think Clem's got a, uh... So what, we need a wheelbarrow or what? Find something? Yep, maybe useful. It's just a trowel. We need a wheelbarrow. Uncover the lab door. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Okay, now he's being all uh, calm. Can't say friendly. Oh, not too much noise. Okay, let's see what's inside. Gotta be careful of walkers. Whoa, shit, get the fuck out of me. I knew something like that was gonna happen as well. Uh, 
What's going on? You well, all right? Her arm was stuck to me. We had a scare. That's all. You had a scare. I shit myself. It's fucking scary as fuck. Oh no. What? Who is it? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks. Green. I can barely recognize her. She's just. She's just like all the human. others. She's not human. She's a walker. God. Is it really that easy for you to just forget who they were? It isn't for me. We were just saying that you can't leave it. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. And a wheelbarrow. How should I put this propane in here? Oh, there's loads of stuff in here. What's this? Test tubes. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. You, you drink it. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Igniters, nice. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. Nice. How deep are our pockets as well, man? Examine flask. <laughs> Okay. Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. Ah, oh, it's good to talk to people. Get a bonding going. Hey. Let's pick up this fly trap. Okay, anything in here? Okay. Gatherer. Picking up all, all, all types of shit. Decorate the bedroom that we might not be staying in. Yeah, I have no idea what it means. Hey, perfect. Let's hope there's gas in it. Hey, ma Why is it stopped? Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. There's more fertilizer there as well. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No! Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Next you to the greenhouse her. she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. Oh, no we'll point. bury her. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Dude, what's the problem? Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. We just had to waste our energy to find propane for you. Least we can do is bury a walker. Right, there we are, guys. I'm going to end that episode there. Um, so, helping out, we're talking to them as well. So we're, we're getting on their good books, maybe... 
after we defeat the Raiders, which we will, we will, um, maybe we can stay. Uh, just need to talk to the other guys, try and get them in on the good books as well. So I hope you enjoyed the story. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until my next video, guys, I will catch you later. Yo, you be chilling with that wish. You put on the list. You know what it is. Never gonna stop it, get it. Yes, with the cash shots. Yeah.